Welcome back, guys, to the Two Eds podcast. I am your co host, Cav, and I am joined by Mokta Baggett. And today we have Kelly McLaughlin and her mother, Trish McLaughlin. And we're going to get into a little bit about the Irish boxing scene, just some of the stuff that Kelly's been through, and then just a few topics around that. So, guys, welcome. welcome. Thank you. Thank How's you. things? It's good, yeah? Good. Brilliant, brilliant. First of all, I want to go straight into you first, Kelly, yeah? Yeah. Um, at what age did you start? What age did you think that you were going to be a boxer? Like, what made you go into boxing? And what age did you start at? Um, I started when I was 16. I went to a summer camp with my little brother okay. in Crumlin. And then it was Phil Jr. that was taking the summer camp. And he said to me, would you not consider, like, keep doing boxing instead? Because I wanted to do it just for my fitness, for Camogie and Gaelic. And I said, oh, I'll give it a go. Um, so I joined. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And since then you haven't looked back? And then since then I, I quit. Gaelic and Camogie and just went to boxing. Oh, really? really? Yeah. yeah. Everything else took a back burner on that yeah. one, then, yeah. Mm-hmm. Deadly. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. And, come here, and your mom's been there with you since day one, yeah? Yeah, since day one. So, yeah. what, like, so what, what does she do for you in the coaching side of it? She's my strength and conditioning coach, and whenever my head coach can't train me, she'll train me. Oh, brilliant. And how long are you in the, in the fitness industry? Um, I went back to college when I was 44. Oh, brilliant. So I started coaching up in All Saints with Shani Carton, the late Shani Carton. He passed away yeah. a couple of years back. But um, I started training up there. He asked me to come on board coaching in 2016. Brilliant. And I loved it. So I just came across this part-time course because I was a carer at the time. And I said, I'll go back to college doing sports and fitness. So I was holding down a job and doing sports and fitness as well and boxing coach. Yeah, and um, I done the first ever women's boxing coaching course back in, that was 2016 as well. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so it was the first ever female boxing coach coaching. course in but Ireland. Uh, I think there was about, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> there, was about, <laughs> there was about 20 other women on the course. Yeah, brilliant, so brilliant. it was brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. so... Uh, Level yeah, one. No, it's nice to see the women's sport now um, evolving big time, especially in the boxing. Yeah, you know, um, there's a lot of young girls like coming through. You set a lot of foundation for a lot of women to join. Like you know, I mean, you even going for the coaching is a massive, massive respect to yourself. Yeah. Um, but how is yourself in boxing? Where are you? Where are you now? And like, what have you been going through? Like, with um, your training, so what's your next step, basically? Yeah, I um, I boxed recently there in the elites. Okay. I drawed with Michaela Walsh, so she's Brilliant. an Olympian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hardest fight to date. She's a tough fight, I don't know. Yeah, the hardest fight to date, definitely. Um, I lost on unanimous, but she did say that it was her toughest fight um, in Ireland in a long time. So I was chuffed with that. Deadly, yeah. Drawing with Olympian. Yeah. 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 Like, that, 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 that is yeah, serious. Yeah, I, I, have, I have to give it to you. That is yeah. like, that's, that's game. Mm-hmm. That's game. Um, and when did you realise that, like, okay, I have it, like, I have, I have it, something in here that I need to tap into, like, Oh God, uh, I think l- last year. Okay. Yeah. Not yeah. like, not a long, like literally last year, yeah. So wow. you would have stuck with it more for the love of it, but then it would have actually kind of turned into some, I can actually get something yeah. out of this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah like it took a lot of um, confidence. Like I, I lack a lot of confidence okay. when it comes to just myself in general. Mm-hmm. But with the boxing type, I don't know what it was. It's something just clicked in my head and I just said, People started telling me, you're, you're better than what you think you are. Like, you need to get your confidence up. And then I started listening to it and just saying, they're saying something that I'm not. So yeah. just yeah. kind of fake it till you make it. That's what Double I do. Double down on it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Fuck that. Like, yeah. That's absolutely. brilliant. Yeah, you know? so but it's, 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 do you know what? It's, it's actually brilliant hearing it from you, you, yourself. Because mm. a lot of boxers are the same. Yeah. Mm. Are the same. Like, did you watch that fight the weekend? Garcia's yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't think Garcia's had it. I think he just bleed and faked it till he got yeah. he got cashed out. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I really do. I think like he, he, even his walk into the ring, I just felt like he wasn't it, there. It wasn't there. Yeah, it you just the wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. you know, even the way he was looking, mm-hmm. the way he was, you know, the way his emotion was. I yeah. just, yeah. I didn't even the to stoppage. What did yeah. you think of that stoppage? Like, um, yeah, I think he could have. Now there was rumors that Tank did have, um, like. People in his training camp. Seeing that, yeah. Yeah, people Give did have training. Yeah. Yeah. And he did get dropped the week previous with that same body shot. Wow, so he's been hurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Tank knew where to hit. Yeah, exactly. My man. Man. Yeah. yeah. That's why I won a few quid, man. I'm bad into boxing. I love it. Do you know what? Yeah. I, I love it so much that when I see an experienced fighter, like for example, right, I'm, I'm going to bring it back to, let's say, Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. Mm. Right? This is, this is a man of 
boils me blood. Yeah. 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 The reason why is right. Tommy Fury coming from the background that he was, yeah. right? I would have thought he would have schooled him. Yeah. Mm, See, yeah. after the first, second, third round, I didn't want them to get a knockout. Mm. Yeah. I just want them to skill him. Yeah. Like just show him what boxing is. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, don't hit him too hard. Yeah. Just let points, but just make a show of him. Mm. Yeah. Show him what boxing is so he yeah. doesn't have to come back into this shit again. Like, <laughs> you get me? Yeah. <laughs> you get me? Like, but you couldn't do it. Yeah. You couldn't do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But what do you think of influence boxing? Like, like the YouTubers? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's embarrassing mm. really? to boxers. Yeah, mm. but if you were to offer the 100 grand right now to change your career over. I know, it's different. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, um, you know, like, see the way you hate it, like a lot, a lot of fighters do hate it, and I understand why a lot of fighters do yeah. hate it, because a lot of people, like I know a lot of boxers, right? And they do, they, they're serious fighters. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I don't want to drop any names, but yeah. like, you probably, you know the same as well. You know a few mm -hmm. of them as well. And like a lot of them, I, like I think the highest payout for one of them, only Winsley there, and he left his job and all to go to it, it was about 40 grand. Mm. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. And I remember he was fighting under Jake Paul's car. Yeah. You probably know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I just don't want to drop his name. <laughs> you know? He was actually fighting under Jake Paul's car. Yeah. And like he got 40 grand for that. But how long does he have left? Mm. Mm. He went back to work. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, and it's different for the likes of a Logan Paul or a Jake Paul where they have money coming out of their fucking ears. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so like even whatever so your payout is, like that guy's getting forty k, but like he's like that back to work, like back yeah. to work, like fuck that, like yeah. not easy, like. Mm -hmm. And boxing, like you see, see, like see in boxing, like see now where you are now, like so you're you're you're, you're at the point in the Olympian there, you're doing well, the confidence going up now, yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Um. So what, like, what are you thinking of for next, like, what, what's your next step now for that, like? Are you gonna stick to it? Are you gonna go back into where you've done wrong or walk your way up? Or you and your man gonna draw up a plan and see where you can go to next? Management, you know, like what yeah. you gonna do next? Or are you just gonna stay in the same club, doing the same thing that you do? Or what's the next, what's the next step for you? Like? So before the elites, I moved club. Okay. So I moved to St. Catherine, so back to my old coach. Okay. That had, that had I think had won me like the under my under 18s, my start and kind of point. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I went back to him and I think like I'm at the right place now in the right club. It's just my determination has changed so much since that fight. Like I feel like if I was to get another chance in the ring with the girl, I'd be a different boxer altogether because of my confidence. Yeah. It changes your mindset completely. Like, Big time. like I felt I was just giving it a go, just having fun in there. Like, I kind of knew, obviously, you're going up against an Olympian. Come on, mm. who are you? Do you know yeah. that way? In the stadium, it's got a bit like that. Yeah. But I gave it a go, and I done well. Mm. I was happy with it. I wasn't happy I got out and cried, but, yeah. like, no, but you know, <laughs> I was happy afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, you know, emotions, yeah. 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 you know, the funny thing is, like, see, see, see when you're fighting an Olympian, yeah. right, and you're in the stadium, right? Yeah. Everybody has a hard on for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be fucking honest. Yes, bro. Let, I'm, de yeah, I'm dead serious. I swear to God, Paddy done this to me before and he brought me to Belfast and he made me fight an Olympian, but your man retired, but he came back out. Right. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> but yo. But at least you had the privilege. We were the main show. Yeah. Yeah. We were the main show. People mm. had his t shirt on. I was like, <laughs> oh shit. Paddy, <laughs> what did you get me in? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, no, it's great. You should, you should, you should a hundred percent feel every, every respect for yourself or every yeah. humbleness from it. It's not easy being in there with somebody that's like an artist like that. Yeah. And you taking that and drawing and putting your skill to the test now it shows you exactly what you're capable of yeah. and what you can actually go to next. Definitely. You know. Yeah. And I think you have a great family behind you, man. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I, really Cause I am. Know? I started boxing, funny enough, very late. Yeah, 16, 16 that's very, is very, very, late. very, very late. The girls that I would be boxing nowadays would be... Eight. Six, six and eight. Six, start, eight. Yeah. Six, six, six. Yeah. Six, yeah. Six, yeah. Six, yeah. yeah. So, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, I did have a lot of catching up to do, but I'm, I'm almost there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just about. Yeah. Love to hear it. Look, yeah. the, the way I look at it is, like, Wilder. Wilder started late. Yeah. He started, mm -hmm. really, he started really late, yeah. Was he in his... Totties. Yeah, wasn't he? He was yeah. the Yeah, yeah he? and, and he's, he's like so second good. pound for pound for the world. Yeah. Up there, up there, yeah. you know? Like, it depends how your heart is. That's mm. what it is. It really does. And I always say this, and I only said this the other day, like, like most top boxers, they had to go through shit. Mm -hmm. They had to. You can't come from a spoon, silver spoon up your ass and think that yeah. you're going to be yeah. yeah, just you just can't. You have to no. go through shit with your family. Definitely, like, you yeah. have to know yeah. the 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 mm. door. You have to be mm -hmm. there. Yeah. You have to, you know what I mean? That's and that's what exactly. And that's why I think 
Tank and Garcia's yeah. Tank was taking it regardless because yeah. he was in the belt to lose. Mm-hmm. He, he, he's gonna from, die for that. Literally yeah. not. He would have lost Tyson and many shit. Well yeah. he yeah. would have died for that. Like he yeah. woke up. You, did you see Tyson's way? You woke up from the dead. <laughs> like, yeah. That's how hard you want to yeah. have it. You want to, yeah. ha- like, you know what I mean? Flat that's how bad out. you want them. Yeah. Like, mm. You know, and like, how does it feel for you? Like, you know, when when she fought. Oh, I, the nerves will never leave me. Like from yeah. the time she was sixteen, the nerves will never. Every oh, thing. every time you just feel sick. Like you just, I just sit there trembling. Yeah. But um, I went down earlier and says, I'm just gonna try sit here, ground myself, and not get so nervous. But she, it's like I did be in the ring, you know, when yeah, she's yeah, in the yeah, ring. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. but uh, I, yeah. I, the oh, big red face, yeah, I do be like, oh my God, but uh, no, she done amazing her last fight, she really yeah. did. And like she a, gave a great a, account of herself. As a mother yeah. and as a strength and condition coach, what do you see for her? Like, what do you see? What's your vision for her going forward? Like, um, I think she'll be on the Irish squad very soon. She keeps tipping away. Uh, she just needs, it's like that, it's her head, it's her confidence. So she needs to get that mindset in her head. And, mm. It lets her down, but she's changing, like she's getting there, mm-hmm. which is great. So now she's starting to believe in herself. Yeah. Everyone else believes in her, but there's no mm-hmm. point, you know yourself, you don't believe in yourself. It's not, it's so not. now she's starting to. Yeah. And I think where she's at now, when we change club, it's a family affair. I'm there, her father's there, her father's our coach as well. Brilliant. And uh, Fran's our coach, and it's great. Ronnie is the club secretary, and it's brilliant. Like we mm-hmm. can take Kelly, we can do what we want, whereas the politics and other clubs, we weren't allowed to do we that. To, uh, oh, yeah. We weren't allowed to have an import. It mm-hmm. wasn't a golden child, basically. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so no, we're allowed to have our say, we're allowed to have import on it. So we got our first ever female Irish champion there, not Friday gone, Friday before, and me and Carl done our corner. Right. We'd have never been allowed to do that in right, okay, the other yeah. club that we were but in. That was obviously where you left that, that last place. Yeah, that last was yeah, yeah. basically, um, my last elites that I had boxed in, I wanted my dad mm. to be in the corner or at least was it to do even to do seconds was it yeah even to do seconds and he wasn't allowed right. my dad's kind of like when i box it's like my comfort yeah mm. calms me down because mm-hmm. uh, i get very very overwhelmed right okay uh but he wasn't allowed he is the, he is the cheat code so. though to, to calm me yeah, yeah i don't know what it is about him it's yeah. just very it's just that chick yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah but you know what like uh, sorry to cut you off yeah, there but do you know what what you said there is very, very important because I see a lot of young players where you say, for example, they're doing well with Dunboyne, they're doing well with like different clubs. And then like, say, for example, let's say any club is doing a trip to UK or whatever. Yeah. They pick a young player out of the club and they don't bring the coaches. Oh. And then now they're telling the young player to spar the same way. Yeah. Yeah. And they're trying to change their style. And they're trying to change Oh, no, you're better like this. And the young like, yeah. I don't like, no. He's not even used to you coaching him. Never mm. more than you telling Changing him to change style. his fucking style. Like. Yeah. yeah. And I've seen that a lot. Mm-hmm. I've mm-hmm. seen that a lot. Because yeah. I've seen a lot a lot of fighters come and like you would think, okay, they're not they're not in the right state of mind, mm-hmm. like doing yeah. their fighting. That's and then they is. go off the stage and they're do you ever see them they're throwing the towel yeah. and they're going mad yeah. because they've been they're, 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 they're just literally being fucked about. Like yeah. what it is is their coach is not with them. So mm-hmm. how can you take a young player from a club? Yeah. That's how to be having trained. a coach. Yeah. Mm. That's how he had a coach, had a style, yeah. had a way of himself, yeah. and then bring him into a fucking a pool of fishes, mm. and then tell him to fight a second way. Trying to do it differently than he'd know he's doing his whole fucking Trying to change, like, yeah. You know, yeah. and it's so sad because I see it. Mm-hmm. I see it so many times, and that's another thing that I feel like boxing needs to really, really tap into. And all. Yeah. Well, yeah. it causes know? most boxers to lose yeah, the fight it because yeah. it destroys them because mm. they're not left with the same coach this is what happens it's glory hunting it's yeah. we're the head coaches and more down the corners and that's the and way that's some clubs weird, are yeah. unfortunately mm-hmm. and wow. um yeah i think they need to think about the boxer yeah. rather than themselves that seems 100%. to be a very irish yeah it's an ego though. thing yeah. it's a real yeah. irish mentality we have that with bodybuilding even where you have yeah. that kind of thing where everyone wants to yeah. be the one that gave the advice that won the yeah. Fucking yeah. yeah you know what i mean yeah. but no one wants to actually see the person win the fucking yeah game. exactly <laughs> like i just want to get the child through yeah. and be proud of themselves and that's it yeah, yeah fuck that. you'd be absolutely screwing some young people's mental as well exactly yeah. you know what I mean? big time and like in, in boxing like, they still doing the you know the confidence booster mm. where a young player you know is a good fighter but you know when he goes off and he, he does bad you give him that little confidence and you throw him a bone like yeah. are they still doing the same thing I'm they, like, they like where they get him a fight in. that they know that he's gonna that win he's gonna win or, yeah well yeah. i suppose yeah they will do yeah, that yeah because yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. just to get them back up you never got no, no, she's been up against it since now. She it's doesn't really get it easy. Yeah. No, it's hard, hard. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to get an easy one? Oh, yeah. madness. No, you're, you're 
know he's got the, the bad end of the yeah. as draw, so to speak, yeah. yeah. Or the draw. Yeah, it is exactly. good. Yeah. It is. If you're getting yeah. the top yeah. voices, that means there's something there, like. Yeah. 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 You know, and if, yeah. you're, if you're surviving and you're going through and you're going yeah. through them, then, like, if you win one, you lose one yeah. the next day, you know? Like, that's a lot of respect. But let's touch on you, Trish, for a sec, yeah? Mm -hmm. I just want to go into the... Okay, I know you do a lot for mental health. Yeah, you I'd be, like, just... Um, that's why I do what I do. Like, this is why I went into uh, walking. Like, I used to do free classes up in Sundrive Park just to get people out. And let me ask you a quick question. Sorry to put in there. Like, yeah. Did you start doing this? Before, you, Kelly. Before? Before? Your, oh, yeah, okay, before. Okay. Because I just suffered with my mental health as well. Oh, Still do, if I'm honest. We all do. You know, we, all do. No, we all do. Yeah, yeah, we all do. Like, there's no person on earth here that can yeah. tell you, oh, they never had a little No. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think, yeah. to be honest with you, I think... Young age, mm. it's like, oh, la, 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 yeah, la, la. you know, what I mean? yeah, <laughs> and like a lot of the youth of today mm. that's on the streets are doing whatever they do, they don't realize it till they're like coming no. into their 30s, and exactly, like, oh, reality, yeah. Yeah. Bricks, yeah. yeah, it's like reality, man, mm. yeah, you know, what just but happens, like, yeah. No, I've been hearing a lot of good things about yourself, you know, I know you're walking the, the where were you today? You were somewhere today? I was in John of God's, I do that once a week, so they'd be in wheelchairs, um, so they wouldn't be verbal. They wouldn't be able to speak or anything. So it's just like glow fitness. Um, it's like lighting and uh, just music, loud music, yeah, and just dance around kind of with them in wheelchairs. Yeah. And Kelly does that with me sometimes as well. Yeah. Um, through lockdown, now I done street, street workouts, the neighbours. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. we went into it. Was it the second lockdown? I was like, I'm not having this. Like, what am I going to do? Yeah. So I was like, the, these are going to be driven mad. It's terrible. So I was like, right, knock down all the doors. I'm going out Saturday, I said, to do a workout. If you want to come out, come out. I was like, none of these are going to come out. Next of all, they all start oh, peeping out right, the doors. Yeah. They were out there. I was like, right, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So I had them out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That's brilliant. Doing That's workouts, yeah. 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 Did you charge him? Got arrested. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, because the beach. And here we are. Did you charge him? <laughs> no, I didn't charge him. No, no I didn't charge him. <laughs> no, I didn't charge him. <laughs> I didn't charge him. <laughs> no. no. So, when the guy that came, so how did you get away from it? It was grand because it was all social distancing. My husband had drawn yeah, all the social distancing mm -hmm. markings on the road. So, really? yeah, yeah, found yeah, the so it, was grand. it was the music, though. The music, someone That's was. They came. Yeah. The music was too loud or something. Someone was giving out, yeah. but no, but they were grand. They were like, oh, yeah. no, walk away. Yeah, they probably know. Walk she's away. Like, around coming up, like, this woman's trying to actually fucking help yeah. people not lose yeah. their shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And someone's giving out. Yeah. Yeah. That's mad, this, man. But, but like, some of the neighbours never walked out on their life, and they just mm. loved it. And now it's brought them. Um, they're walking out now. They're in the F2 centre. They do classes now. Mm. I used to a uh, Tuesday evening class in the F2 centre, so they used to come to that. Yeah. And uh, now they're there on their own. So that was great to get them to that, that they love it now, because they're like, oh, I'm not the same, and if I don't, I have to go around and I have to do it. And it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah it's great, just yes. for their heads and... Yeah, so that's why I went to. Honestly, so we need more. What it is is we need. Look, look. The way I look at it is where where we're from. I'm from Bonnell, by the way, Clondalkin. Yeah? Oh, very good. And like the owls do fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> they do nothing. No, no, nothing. It, I swear to God, even my own mother. My mother's young, you know. Like, yeah. She had me when she was sixteen. God. And like nothing. Yeah. Nah, nah. yeah. My mom brings me. I want to join the gym. No problem. You can join the gym. It was when Ben Dunn was in Lucan, bro. Yeah. Mm. I want to join the gym. I was like, no problem. Like, what, when do you want to start? Like, mm. oh, whenever you pay. <laughs> I was like, okay, man. I'll tell you what, do a week of walking. And yeah. Every time you're and walking, then, yeah. every morning, send me a Snapchat. Mm. Yeah. And then after that week, I'll pay for your membership. Yeah. yeah. She done two days, bro. Yeah, I was <laughs> she did, I swear to God, she did two days. And I went, oh, I was sorry with walking. Ah. Oh, do you mean? That means like, so I'm too tired in your body. <laughs> He was like, nah, this is not for me. I tried, it was nice. But that's the problem. See, I feel like with your caliber, doing what you do, you're inspiring other people. You know, I know it's, to you, it's just like you helping others. Yeah. But you don't understand the people that's looking on the outside, mm -hmm. the wishes that they can do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, and even just knocking down to the doors. Yeah. That's that's hand in, that's hand, in hand like. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I really respect that. So, mm. honestly, hats off to you. Absolutely. Yeah, there's no like that around anymore. I have a women's group as well. Like, they come, they're six years with me, aren't they? Used to have them running up and down, yeah. like hill sprints, crab crawls. Crazy stuff. Like plank walks up yeah. the hills. And, like, mm. some of these women, um, Marion, she's 70, yeah. like. And they be doing this. Yeah. yeah. And I'd be she like, be this is great. Yeah. I'd be standing yeah. there, like, 
but like uh, we just did a modified burpee. So you, no, why? I'll do a burpee. Okay. It, it, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what people will do. I think a lot of times they don't realise until they actually get a position, they're in a position yeah. to do it. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And have you, al- have you always done no. that? No. Um, Mag used to drag me to, Mag used to drag me to the gym years ago. Oh, Mag used to drag me to the gym. We used to go to the gym and then sometimes don't, she'd go mad. We used to stop off for a pint and a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be like, oh, we don't go. Let's go have a pint and a bag of chips on the way home. Point Dismidics with sugar. <laughs> yeah, sugar and the point But uh, she was always mad for the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, now I loved, I used to love walking and things like that. But now I got into, mm. when I got into the boxing club, I loved it when the kids got into the box and I start, I start running. I wanted to change my life then. Mm. And uh, yeah, so that's. And a ripple effect yeah. from there nearly. Yeah, there. yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. taught me life around. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Deli, so. and obviously you're you're doing the same now for for Kelly, obviously giving her a dig out where S and C and stuff like that. Yeah, when she needs me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's yeah, not all the time. trying to kill me. Is there, <laughs> is there any beef in the camp at all? Is there is it hard having your man coach it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I swear yeah. to God. Yes, yeah. I was only thinking that yeah. like, Ma, da, yeah. Yeah. all in the same home. you know. My parents were yeah. heavily involved in bodybuilding. Okay. And a lot of how I started training was my dad showed me a hmm. lot of it. And then my ma would show me as well. But there was always like, fucking many a time you think back and you're like, yeah, you're fucking... Yeah. yeah. You know, you're raging with them. <laughs> they brought you here so you can't say yeah. anything. Can't open your mouth, yeah. <laughs> There's a reason I'm breathing right now, so it's all right. My son Jake used to be a great boxer and uh, he gave it up then. But he's, he's, like he's mad into the gym now. Mm, he's yeah. six foot odd now. Yeah. And okay, right, mad yeah. into the gym. He went yeah. back to boxing for a bit, but yeah, he's, right, yeah, it's, yeah. he likes the social life now. Oh, yeah. 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 The young fellas doing the gyms are like the social, it's crazy, yeah. social yeah. aspect for but, sure. But um, let's, let's bring us back a little bit. I want to bring us back and I want to touch on that mental health with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, At what stage in your career did you realise that, okay, I'm not right? Like... Um, it would have been... Secondary skill, I think it could have been the, was it junior or the leaving cert? The leaving cert. Uh, before the leaving cert. Okay. Um, I thought it was just stress from like studying because I struggle a lot with learning. Um, but it obviously wasn't. Um, I started like, so I was 16. Was this, I was 16 again. 16, what did you leave and start? 16, 17, what 17, yeah. 16, 17, yeah. yeah. So, 17, 16, 17 um, was the first time I actually tried to overdose. Wow, okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, I got, um, I was actually going training that evening. Uh, so, I was trying to study and something just tipped me over the edge and I just couldn't study anymore. So, I just found everything in the press, just took it all, didn't even know what I was taking. Lied down in the bed and my dad was calling me up for training. Um, I got up, I got ready for training and I went to walk out the door and my dad looked at me and just said, Trisha, she's after, she's after taking something. Mm. I don't know what I look like or... She was green in the face. Yeah, I was, yeah. I green. couldn't stand. Mm. So they rushed me to James's, thank God it was only around the corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they, uh, what is it called? Discharge, is it? Just, yeah, just they... Discharge me that night. That night, well, no. just said to me, but, we're just going to discharge, is that all right? And I'm like, I didn't know yeah. what to do. I was like... Yeah. Mad. What's the idea? Like, like, so like, I thought it was normal. I, I just, I just want to go back a little bit. Mm-hmm. You were 16, 17. Yeah. You felt like the whole world was on your shoulders. Yeah. yeah. And um, how did you think? Like what? Like what, like why did you? Like how? What made you think of taking tablets? Like the pills, yeah. yeah. The pill. What made you go towards the tablet part of it? Mm. You know that. Yeah. Is it like let's let's be honest, right? Another thing. I just wanna I want I want to touch on this real quick because I feel like TV mm-hmm. media showed young people yeah. how to yeah. overdose on mm-hmm. tablets mm-hmm. and like i feel like a lot of us need to start speaking about this because yeah. to me when you're 16 17 because i remember when i was 16 17 i didn't have a brain cell to me no. now mm-hmm. do you know mm-hmm. so like me take me life was never like <coughs> so for you to think okay i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go to the press i'm gonna take tablets yeah what like how i know it's a lot a lot of pressure there but how did you come to terms with I got tablets through. Yeah. Mm. You know? So, yeah. For, I can actually remember as it happened, as I was about to do it, I was thinking to myself, right, what's the quickest way? What's the not least sorest way for me? So I had options in my head and that was my solution to a quick, less painful, painful way. Painful way. Okay. Yeah. Mm. 
and how did like see 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 when you're in the hospital then mm-hmm. and then you realize okay you're good yeah um and they're dis- discharging you yeah how did it feel coming back home how did it feel to see your parents you know, look like after everything you know yeah. to talk to your parents mm-hmm. and being open with them you know yeah. about it like um i felt initially when it happened i kind of like was i was at home and I ended up going to school the next day and I was like, I wish wow. it could happen. Fuck. The next day? Yeah. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know what to do. I no one knew, like, but especially yeah. if they're at the hospital, they're going to discharge you hours after something. You know? I yeah. didn't know what to do. Like, mm-hmm. I sent her to school because I was saying she'd be safer. Yeah. yeah. I had to go to work. I was caring. I don't even know what I was thinking going mm. to work. I ju- you just... All over the place. Like, all yeah. over the yeah. place. I ran camps. You had been in camps before. She had been to the doctor saying that she didn't feel right. You were yeah. 15, 16. Was I? Mm. Okay. But they put her down to hormones. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they got her an appointment with cams. So she'd been in the cam system and was less slipped through the system because when you when you don't know, you just let these things happen. You think, mm. well, she must be all right. Yeah, they yeah. must think she's all right. And um, I ran cams and I was like, I don't know what to do. And they says, oh, there's a waiting list yeah. and there's so many. Wa-. And I was like, yeah. I think they said two years, was it? Two I, years? Yeah, two I just years. didn't know what two to do. So I rang PA to house yeah. and um, they gave us an appointment for some counselling. Okay, and yeah. th- 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 can we go back as well? Go back. Well, you and you, you clearly weren't in the house because her dad was looking for for the boxing. So I where was were you? out with basketball training. Jake used so to do basketball training. So when you got that call, training. you got the phone call. I got back to do the remember house. Remember where you were when you got that phone call? Oh, sorry, when she was admitted into hospital. When, when, when the, was our dad around you at the hospital? No, she was. I'm Tom. She was. Um, no, so I got home, yeah. and her dad says to me. Look, she's on. T- I don't know. Oh, she's so you got home and you seen her. I got home and I seen her. Okay, so you didn't get a call. Okay. No, so they I just dragged her into time. the car, drove mm. over to the hospital. Um, I actually, I think I dropped Jake training. I don't. I, my head was all over the place. Yeah, it would be. It was it's just not mad. Not occurrence though, something like that that happened to anyone. No, normal, no. Yeah. And uh, I had Jake basketball training. He was going boxing training. Or else, my husband dropped him, and I took her to the hospital. Mm. It was just. But you know chaotic. what the thing is? What I remember is when I was going through all this, like how easy it is to be so young and get around it. Mm. Like I just said in the hospital, like, no, I'm grand, so I'm fine. Yeah. I'm all right, yeah, I'm grand. Mm. PA at house, I went through 10 mm. sessions. 10 counseling sessions. Saying I was grand. And then just let you that go then? Yeah. I yeah. just completely lied my whole way through it. And they just let you go? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, Cause I don't know what it is. I think when you're a child, you're an easy liar. I don't know. Oh like, yeah, it comes you're just, natural. You're able to convince yeah. people. Like, it comes natural to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Natural I, was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm grand. Yeah, cause yeah. I just, I don't know. I just was like, get me out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's more the exit than anything. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then after that, then mm-hmm. yeah. So how long? So you, you. So after that. Yeah. You went to school. You're back to school. You're back doing your thing. Yeah. Were you back boxing? Yeah, I think I went back boxing. Yeah. You're back boxing yeah. as well. Yeah. So how long did it take you before? You, did you did, did you feel okay then after all that? Did no. you feel like so you still didn't feel okay? No. no. So you were going to school with a lot going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck me. I didn't know what it was, and then I'm the type of person that thinks. Oh, you're over exaggerating this. Yeah, you're over exaggerating. Like, you're there, over exaggerating did, all. did you have a moment after taking all of the, the pills? Did that not have any effect in the sense that you were like, oh, like that was that was fucking? Because I imagine obviously it's great. It's it's to see it like that is is scary for a parent, mm. but to be in the driver's seat, feeling what that look actually feels like. I. You know, was that yeah. not like a fuck? Like I'm actually not alright, but I should probably tell these people that I'm not. Yeah. Okay, you know. I literally when I lie down on my bed. I closed my eyes and I was praying that I just wouldn't wake up. Wow. Yeah. Like that's that's the one thing I remember saying to mm. myself. I was like, please God, don't wake me up. Like, mm. and I don't like, do you mind me asking you this? Sorry for buttoning in again. I'm always buttoning in. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> 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 See when you were lying there, right? Yeah. And you were saying, okay, praying that you don't want to get up, blah, blah, blah. What's the thoughts though? What, why was it so bad? Because you had a loving family yeah. that was there for you, right? Mm-hmm. You had like um, little brother or older brother? Little brother, brother yeah. 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 You know, you had people there that you were very comfortable yeah. that was with you. Yeah. So what what was what was triggering you so bad, like in your own head that you couldn't figure it out? Like, yeah. I know it's hard to say, and look, you don't have to explain it, but just a little thought on it. Like, what yeah. what, what was it? What no, was it see, like? that's that's the thing. Like, kind of, you put the nail on the head there. Like, with everyone around me, yeah. Like, they can see Kelly, you've this, you've that. Yeah. But I don't even know myself what it is. It's just something, it's like I have these, it's like there's Kelly and then there's Kelly. Mm. 
Yes. Do you know what I mean? A bit of imposter mm. syndrome. This, kind of thing, yeah. yeah. Telling me this, telling me that, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. Yeah. Literally, I am my own worst enemy. Wow. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I know I have, I have so much, like, I'm so grateful to have such a good family. And, yeah. like, sometimes I do wish I wasn't, like, the person that I am, if that makes sense, inside. Mm. Because I shouldn't be. Because I have mm. everything. I have to give it to you. Respect. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Just to even speak on yeah, it. Just, just very, to, you know, very, yeah. Very briefly. Uh, yeah. Basically, basically think, very, very, like, you should be proud of yourself. Like, you know what I mean? But, um, like, going to that then, and when was the next episode? Oh, <laughs> Kind of goes on it got there. really bad. Um, <laughs> so she went to box in Italy with Paddy Gallagher uh, yeah. to represent the colleges. So you were in uh, in Chicago College, was it at the time? Yeah, I wasn't doing. Too you good. weren't there doing too good. There was a relationship uh, problems going yeah. on, but she wasn't doing too good. And she came back from Italy, and things just changed. Um, mm. She wasn't her. Me and her were arguing. We were at loggerheads. Your dad came home and we were killing each other in the sitting room. Like, me and her were swinging out of each other. And I was like, what am I doing? What's, What's going on? on? Yeah. But, like, it was like she hated me. And yeah. it wasn't her. It was like, where, like what is going on with her? Mm. And she ran off. Um, you came back down later that evening. Yeah, but, so um, I ran away. Like, I started rebelling an awful lot. How old was I, You started actually? rebelling. You were 20. Yeah, I was old enough, like, to yeah. be young and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So, um... I just didn't know what to do, and uh, I just sort of let her go on, and I got a phone call down, I was in work, and uh, it was just to say, Kelly's um, after being admitted in hospital, and she's in James's, um, so I just left, ran, dropped everything, went over, and she's in this little room on her own, security guard there, and I said, here's your man, what's he doing here? Like, I didn't know what was going <laughs> oh, on, yeah, I was like, what's he doing here? Yeah, but why not? And she's like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 and she's like, to give it over, because she wasn't really talking to her. Like, who the hell's your man? Like, what's he doing here? Are you mm. all right? Like, I'm saying, your man's like, didn't know what. But why would he take me? Like, but um, he left and he says, you stay in here for a while, you'll be all right with her. And I'm like, what's going on, Kelly? Like, what? Some I just, sort of animal. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know what. And then uh, she was transferred and there was no beds in James's. Yeah. So they transferred her to Vincent's. So she stayed. So while she was in Vincent's, they just put her on a psychiatric wards. The psychi yeah. Yeah. Okay. And they put her on. Did they put you on medication? They did. They put you on an antidepressant, yeah. but didn't explain anything. So yeah. I was like, shit, yeah. mm. "Can I? What's going on?" They're like, "Oh, well, we can't discuss that with you because her hospital is James's, and uh, when she gets referred back to her team yeah. in James's, then, then they'll, they'll explain everything." So we had and to wait for a week. How long was she in there for? She was a week in Vincent's, and then just ten months here. in James's. Yeah. Ten months in James. Wow. Ten months. Which is better, Vincent or James's? Oof. <sighs> Which is the better dinner? Right. <laughs> well, you're better. You're easier to escape in uh, James's. James's. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. okay. So. <laughs> to be so honest you know, with you, exits, yeah. yeah. To be honest with you, when you when we say like Vincent and James's for like mental health or whatever, mm, yeah. you know the first thing that comes to my head. Like the first thing that comes to my head is like um, me, myself, and I mean. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it the one that? What, what's the one? Is it animal? Where he got put into the home and he, he he's like you have to act. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, <laughs> everyone does think you know when you go into a psychiatric. Yeah, he's I going around, yeah. chap smoking Dad, in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's the very things the straps. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. There's nothing. Not like that, I know. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like you know. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's what the media yeah. portrays. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what I would have thought. Like, I mean, a home is like you know, like yeah. when when you see it in the likes of their movies, a chap yeah. running around, chap yeah. sitting in the shower smoking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my yeah. I was so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I was so disappointed. No one was headbutting glass. It was bullshit. Yeah, it was <laughs> but, so let's go back. Let's pull it back. So when you when so you done ten months in James's. 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 Mm -hmm. And when you came back from James's, then mm -hmm. how did that feel? Great. Bro, how did it feel on the road, like to your friends? To you? how how did you introduce yourself back okay. into the social life? Yeah, so basically, um, what happened was, I was on for a good few months. I was on a one on one, so that's where someone follows you around. You go to the toilet with the person, and everything. Okay. Like you can't do one. Just basically like suicide watch. Yeah. For a good few months, then they kind of progress you onto you are allowed. You're allowed to go down to the shops. Down to the shops in James's. And then you're allowed to go home for an hour or two. Then you're allowed to stay out for the day and come back at night. 
just sleep there. Okay. Do you know that way? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. when I was getting to there, uh, I kind of started realising this is coming to an end, like. Mm. Um, so I was starting to get used to going back home and going out, but friends-wise, no. No. No friends. Mm. So that was hard, though. Yeah. I didn't have any friends. Wow. Throughout it. Yeah. Mm. Her cousins, my, cousin, my sister. She, yeah, she's my best friend. Yeah. My but two cousins family, were very good. Yeah. Um, but she was, yeah, great, really good. It's, it's mad, like that you have to go through that to realize who was actually who's there. For you. Yeah, there. Mm-hmm. Who's there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm sorry you went through that. Yeah. I really mm-hmm. am. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, it's but like, great. I, I, I made the person you had today, man. You know mm-hmm. that, don't you? Exactly. And like, I've met, I've met, like it's crazy because my two best friends now are girls that I've met after. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like if I wasn't, if I didn't go through all that, mm-hmm. and I didn't like become what I am now yeah. I probably would have not met, met them two best friends mm. mm-hmm. so it's great yeah mm. I think it was tough at home though was it when she was oh, in yeah. it it's very tough because um, I tried my best to, I ended up giving up the caring because I couldn't give I loved my caring job but because I couldn't go in and give 100% to who I was looking after I gave it up because it's not fair on that person yeah. so um, I tried to go on as normal I had a little gig in RTE I used to do um a couple of classes during the week there, but any time that like it, we had, I, I'd be there or if I would be yeah. there, or else my sister and my two nieces, mm. um, they were brilliant, I have to say. She's never yeah. by myself. Like. She was never by herself. You had a good, so- you had a good oh, family. Really good. You have a really, really yeah. good family and I have to give you that, like, you know, yeah. and um, it's a beautiful bond. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You really do, you know. Yeah. Now, there was a day that she asked me not to come over and the reason she had planned her escape that day. We gotta run up. <laughs> <laughs> and the hospital, the hospital rang me and like, uh, is Kelly with you? And I'm saying, what are you talking about? She's not le- allowed to leave the hospital. Like, what are you talking about? And uh, we can't seem to find her at the minute. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, she had ran. Wow. And I was up. She was at the, we had to have a conversation the day before. She, she was at to telling me her plan. Uh-huh. And it only came back to me. Wow. And like I was in Memorial be... Park running where, up and where down. Where were you running off to though? Like, where? Well, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't running off anywhere. The plan was to run Nowhere. somewhere to do something. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah To yeah. get out, to not do it in hospital. Yeah, do it elsewhere. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So even even like when you were in there, so you were done, let's say, okay, you came back home, mm-hmm. the family was beside you, your cousin. Yeah. So how long did it take you to be back, you know, socialising again? Like, you know, yeah. like going out. Um, you know? just... Hmm. We had a surprise 24s for a night and what way he was going to go. Well, that was literally... Uh, you're, already home two, you're already home a month and a, month, a couple of yeah. days, but I had just invited close friends and yeah. family mm-hmm. to that because I, I didn't know what way he was going to go, yeah. but it turned out it was, yeah, it it was, was good, all good. Yeah. Yeah. It, did, it didn't take me a while to adapt back to it all. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it didn't really take me a while because I think of the support I had yeah, in yeah. there. Do you know yeah. that way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know a lot of people that have been through shit like this. And they find it very hard to go back into. Yeah, it's very hard to go back world. out to yeah. reality. They find it very hard. They feel like yeah. everyone's judging them. Yeah. You know, especially being in the in the home for ten months or whatever. Yeah. They feel like oh, people are talking about them, and they just mm. don't feel connected yeah. going back mm. into the system. So, yeah, no, you should be yeah. really proud of yourself. That's Loads quite true. Didn't know? know either. Not a lot of people actually. Yeah. Know. It wasn't, yeah. I didn't broadcast, like people would say, they da- like ask me, is Kelly all right or what? I didn't tell anyone. It wasn't that I was embarrassed. It was like, how do you say she's suffering with anxiety, suffering with yeah. mental health? How do you explain, that, yeah. do you explain yeah. it? And then <clears throat> I just, I ended up then just letting people know then. And yeah. people were shocked. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. And, oh. you know. Because by looking at her, she's very confident. Like. Yeah, that's mm. why you wouldn't, you would yeah. not ever think of it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It took a while. So a, bit, a few years of dealing with it. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then being able, the the, the, being able to step in the ring, like, you know, oh. like, with so yeah. much noises Absolutely. and so many people. Mm. Yeah. Like I say, that's, that, that alone is already facing your fear, you know? Mm. I actually... You won. Yeah. Funny enough. She won her senior title. Yeah. The year she got out, a yeah. few yeah, months after. A few after. months after, that yeah. was the goal. The same year you got out, yeah. 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 Dead, yeah. And um, what you call it? Waterford Dungarvan. Yeah, Dungarvan. She won the Garvin Box yeah. Cup as well the same mm-hmm. year. So she, it was like she was out to prove herself <laughs> and prove man. people wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Crazy bitches. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's a new fight name just waiting yeah. for the map there somewhere. Kelly, crazy bitch. Crazy bitch. Crazy bitch. That's the show, right? That's the show. But yeah, no. 
So guys, today's podcast is brought to you by Personal Record. Personal Record is the newest and greatest gym equipment brand that you will put your hands on today. They're only available at Champions Gym. We've got knee sleeves, elbow sleeves, deadlift straps, wrist straps, soon to have clothing. All of these pieces are limited edition. We're doing one drop at a time. And if you don't get the pieces in that drop, you will not get them until we decide to drop them at a later date, which you won't have control of. So Champions Gym, Personal Record, go and get your good gym equipment. ASAP, it is sponsoring today's podcast. Yep, you heard it here first, man. Okay, back to the good fucking show. Yeah. <laughs> so, my first question, I have a good one for you. So, am I, yeah? Oh, I'll get a little bit closer. Yeah. Hey, so, in your field of sport, yeah. right? What's your opinion on, say, for example, a man's trans coming into the female boxing? Oh. Ah, she's a hammer. ball. <laughs> <laughs> she's a hammer. <laughs> a dude with a wig, you gotta fight him. <laughs> do you take the money or do you run? <laughs> so, so, that. so, that. so, so yeah. is that like um, a man that's going into a girl? So a man transitioning into a girl. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so, right. The one, I wouldn't have a problem with the one problem would be the testosterone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How, about, how about if they went through transition at a younger stage? And they don't have the testosterone? Well, they're depressing the testosterone down so they can have that female. Yeah. I, yeah. That's yeah. okay with you. I wouldn't, yeah. No, I wouldn't really. It just, my, my issue would be the, 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 the testosterone. Yeah. The, more hair, yeah. the heavier hair. Yeah. The heavier 100% hair. 100% yeah. and the Definitely. more aggression, like, do you yeah. know that way? Yeah. yeah. That's all. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because even there, uh, is it Fallon, Fallon Fox? Is, well, it was MMA now, but she, they, they shattered their opponent's fucking orbital, like, <laughs> like mm. proper fucked them up like yeah but that was a, a full transition but a later stage where there was obviously enough testosterone there but like, yeah. absolutely yeah. Like, broke one up like how about, how about the swimmer how about oh, that Leah Thomas? The, yeah Leah Thomas like yeah like he decided to trans like, transition mm-hmm. like in his 40s yeah well up in it like yeah. and like he went against the females and this fella was a shit swimmer you <laughs> like he never <laughs> he actually swimming. never <laughs> he never won a swimming competition in the men division yeah. I went into the females One and all. smashed them all. <laughs> Smoke, <laughs> that wasn't smashed fair. all the records. Yeah. Every, he broke yeah. everything. He broke all the records. Yeah, he's on fucking Bud Light. He's on fucking... He's everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> Boxes of cereal and shit like this guy. Oh, can't even get he's had the maid, though, doesn't he? Yeah, I tell you. Fucking hell. <laughs> mad, mad, yeah, mad, mad. code right there. Yeah. Uh, like, Crazy. Uh, that's why I always say, like, uh, do you know what? We have nothing against the LBG. We have nothing against um, mm-hmm. trans. I spot trans. I spot, yeah. I spot mm. all of them. There's nothing to it, but... Yeah. These things need to be talked about. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I'd just be worried about them being the heavier hitter. That's yeah. Yeah. It's not that yeah. that would bother me, that's all. Yeah, and it's not yeah. that yeah. straightforward to just say, oh, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's not, it's grand. It's the yeah. same. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. not really yeah. the same. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel, I feel, I feel like you, you did hit something on the nail there. I feel like if they're younger and they've mm. been going through transition from a younger, yeah, yeah it would. But the, if you were to go into detail, the bone, well, the that's density. That's what you'd have to what? almost go back on it, wouldn't yeah. you? You'd have to yeah. know what the difference yeah. is if yeah. you're starting that at 12 or starting it at fucking 22. What happened? Like, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, how different yeah. are you in terms yeah. of your actual hormonal profile yeah. and stuff? Because you know? hormones, mm. hormones in men and women are... Very different. different. Oh. <laughs> Massive. Massively different. different. Yes. Like, Massively yeah. different. Yeah. Massively we different. Massively like, different. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, so uh, much so that we'd be having this discussion. You know? yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a thing now. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. like, I don't think that's, mm. that's right. You know? mm. Another question I have. Do you have any more questions? I have a question. Oh, well, you go. <laughs> yeah. I'll get, yes. get the next one. You go. Um, nowadays, especially, you are you 25, yeah? Yeah. 25. It's nowadays, especially with the younger youth of today coming up, I feel like social media has destroyed a lot mm-hmm. of people. Um, me personally, I'm 33. Mm-hmm. Um, in a long time relationship, happy with kids and that. Make sure you get that one in, bro. Zoom in on his face. Zoom in on face when you But I feel like social media has destroyed so many relationships because it's so easy to walk away and pick another one up tomorrow. Am I right? Yeah. You know, True, like, yeah. like for example, if you look at our mothers and fathers before social media, they just oh. made a walk. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've not seen, I'm not looking at what, what they, like, I feel like the relationship of 30 years, somebody being married 30 years or 40 years or 60 years marriage, I think that's all gone out oh, the mm-hmm. window. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Social media made it so easy for people to just, oh, five years? And you fight about something little. Okay, you pick my two pick. Mm-hmm. Ah yeah, go on. I'm done with you. Yeah. On to the next one, like you know. Yeah. The grass is always greener through your phone. Yeah. Through the phone, like. Uh, and what do you think? What do you think yeah. that like? Uh, do you see many people around you mm-hmm. the same way? I do always say, 
that I wish I was born in my, my last generation <laughs> because of how it was real love. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Like it was true love. Like they'd, they they know they'd knock for each other. They'd bring each other. Like, that's <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Like six mm-hmm. shit, I like. swear to God. Yeah. See that? Like remember I told you I used to jockey horses and that. Yeah. yeah. So I'd be in the fields chasing horses around all day. Right. I used to have a sock. I'll have a sock and I have me bumps tuck into the sock. And the ones will be black, like just going through the fields and all, right? Mm. And then you meet a board on the wall. You'll be wearing an Adidas tracks. Yeah. Do, you remember, do you remember Lacoste for yeah. Steve Traxxon? You know the oh, one? Lacoste for Steve Traxxon? Holy shit. You'll be meeting the board, right? You'll be meeting the board on the wall. I swear to God, the wall, that's what we used to call it. You know, at the field, you know, the wall, you know? And you'll be meeting the board on the wall. And she'll be wearing the same tracks as you, bro. And there will be nothing to it. I'd be grand, yeah. There'll be nothing to it. Now you go out to a board looking like, get away from me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's so sad. Yeah, and I yeah. feel like a lot of youth of today, even the female, are so influenced by the wrong oh people. Oh my God, yeah. And it's so fucking disgusting. And like they this size, like the, it's... The girls, like people yeah. my age, 25, like from 20s to 25, like you have money, pff, no bother. Mm-hmm. I'll go anywhere you want. Once you give me this and you give me that. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Like, doesn't matter where you get the money from now. Yeah, but it's nuts. Yeah. You're feeding me money, I don't mind. It's nuts. Yeah. Crazy. Like, it, I just feel like it, the world has gone mad. Mm-hmm. It's not I, love. There's, it's not, lo- it's they not ca- love. How can it be? Yeah, yeah it's all sure, promotion, isn't that's it? That's like, what yeah. it is. Sure, there's people putting up stuff like, there'd be like people that I know of putting up stuff. Oh, he does this for me, she does this for me, and they're baiting the heads off each other oh, in reality. Yeah. We all know the backstory to at least yeah. four or five like, of You're like, Absolutely. what is going on? It's all fake. It's all fake. Yeah. And uh, that, look, let's touch on that, yeah? So me personally, most couples that go away on the weekend, and they're post, posting up happy, you know, selfie. But they're killing each other behind the scene. He's yeah. definitely beating her. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. you now, he is beating her. He, look, that relationship is yeah. not happy. They want the whole world to give them approval. Oh, look at them yeah. two sweet couples. Yeah. No, it's fucking not. Yeah. He's beating her. He's a piece oh, of shit. He's, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Look, I'm in an 11-year relationship, and when I go away, you don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Please, what look at me? But that's what happens yeah. though. A lot of them want to portray this image that they're doing so well, they're doing this, and a lot of them like you know like Brian, like we've seen so many people like go and take so much loan out mm-hmm. to, to accommodate a, a lifestyle yeah. that's not even their lifestyle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not even real realistic like you know, for them. and it's mm-hmm. so sad yeah. like, to do it as well. Yeah. Himself, like, I say, look, even yourself now, at the stage that you are, with your generation, if you were to go back. I wouldn't go back. Like, no way. Would you not? Yeah. No, I wouldn't go back to this. Ge- oh, like, no, if no, no, if you were to go I'm back sorry. to your own generation. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And look from the window of yeah, how it's going to be now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, crazy. Some of the, crazy. Some of the never relationships believed. that my man, like, that I've been in, my man just look at, like, she's like, are, are you blind like is there something yeah. wrong with you like, like guy you've tried to warn her okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she's like he's dead scrounging yeah. picking up for him i'm like oh, fuck sake. Yeah. when is she mm-hmm. going to but she has woken up now i sure have I to say to her single on facebook mm. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I want to know about this one. <laughs> there was a breakup on Facebook. Oh, we broke up. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I think it was ending. Then the it DM. just came up. <laughs> Single. No, I wasn't in the DMs. Oh, was oh you just changed your status. <laughs> oh, my guy got gay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't even tell you. <laughs> that was a plan, this guy. Oh. No, oh. no, they ended up back together. And then his mother texts me and said, did, did you hear they broke up? Come on. So next week we'll have that guy on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> that was nice. yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's People still do that. Well, I don't have Facebook anymore. That was a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Was probably yeah. when Facebook was at its peak. Like, I was just yeah, that's yeah. what it was at its peak, and I was just kind of like, what? Where's what? what? Where's the single? Like, hello? Oh. I'm here. That's rough as fuck. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's it. That, I have to say, now that's sleazy way out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That Definitely. Yeah. That's a bad way out. Yeah. yeah. The mammy wards. Oh, it's have a little sister, mother. and it's the same shit out yeah. there, and I tell you, it's just. Oh, no, it's terrible. Eventually, you get there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm getting there, though, yeah. 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 Three years single now. Anyone looking 
Yeah. <laughs> there you That's go. That's a joke. Oh, you hear the boy in your fours, boys. You hear the hair fours. You know what I mean? Two head podcasts. Yeah, we make the matches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to drop one or two questions and we close up? That was actually very close to what I was going to ask, was just in terms of relationship, more so, not so much the social media thing, but with boxing. Yeah. Been able to be handy. Mm-hmm. And your fella's giving you a bit of lip. You know, oh! Just absolutely <laughs> floor the fuck with it. Does that get in the way at all? Does um, no. Funny enough, um, I'm actually like such a softie. Yeah. But you have them hands though, Kelly. I you? know. <laughs> and I should you can use, use them. them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but I actually, yeah, I wouldn't actually put it up to anyone. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, no, I actually... But, like, I mean, more so, you know what lads are like as well? It's all ego and, oh, and no, hormones. Yeah. And, you know, like, I, 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 you know, I want to be the one that's kind of... Yeah, so that's the... I have for gotten or that. the protective thing, yeah. or... Has that been a, yeah. a bit of an a issue bit, in the a past? A good bit of an issue, yeah. <laughs> Almost every single one, well, two. Mm, yeah. That being, every single one is two. Mm-hmm. Um, have kind of knocked me. Yeah. Saying yeah. I'm not good, I'm not as good as I think I am. Right. And I'm only this and I'm only that. Mm. Because I knew that... It was obviously their ego. They're projecting. The small boy in them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. They're projecting. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. If you are, if 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 your missus is doing better than you, and you yeah. feel any type of way of bringing her down to a level that you're on, now nah, that's just mm. an idiot, man. Yeah, it's a gotcha. Mm. It's a it's a small syndrome. You're like it's shit you do when you're fucking sixteen. Yeah, bro. yeah. It's not, you don't do that shit at this age. At, mm-hmm. at this age, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So bullshit, no, that, no, yeah. but no. I've witnessed a lot of that. Yeah, mm. a lot of that. Shoot, shoot me, all mates. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like. Mm. It's, it's always a thing that, like, between the create an argument that doesn't necessarily need to be there and start a trainer, as in, if you were in TL boxing or blah, 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 you could be doing this, or you're not trying to take yeah. her away yeah. from the narrative of what she's good at. Yeah, she's getting off. And a lot, you know what? And a lot, a lot of things they do is, like, they try to, especially if your name is well known. Yeah. Mm. You know, like, see where you are well known in boxing and you're coming in and people are voting for you. That, that insecurity is there, yeah. you know? It's, 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 yeah. It's, 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 and it's almost like a who do you think you are? Who do you mm. think you are? Mm. Instead of just enjoying it with you. There should okay. be our biggest yeah, cheerleader, they, like, yeah. Yeah. Saying, putting you down. They're doing so good. Like, they're doing so mm. good and, yeah. it, but it's the, it, it, do you think that's the area we come from, though? I think it could be. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like the be. area that we come from, a lot of big grudges. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. A lot. Yeah. Like, you could be sitting at home in your mom's box and smoking fucking joints all day mm. and somebody hates you. Yeah. Mm. And, that same person that hates you, you could go in and get a whopper job. Mm. Getting paid serious money. Who the fuck does she think she is? Still <laughs> That's it. That's still be grudging yeah. in. No matter what. Even if you're a slap bang in the middle, you'd still be doing it wrong. Yeah. Never do a right yeah. for the yeah. Yeah. It's always the same thing. So you can't win. Mm. So yeah. that's why I always say live and do you. Yeah. You know, and just do you. Be yourself. Mm-hmm. Who cares about yeah. the rest of them? Like, yeah. They're not paying wages and paying rent. Exactly. They're not relevant. Yeah, exactly. yeah. They're really gotcha. not, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the most important thing we need to teach the upper comers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because a lot of them are just misled. They have to be a certain way. They have mm-hmm. to look at this. They have to be this way. It's just, it's so destroying. Yeah. Like, trying to, and look, the other sad thing is, I'll be one of them people. Mm. And I'll, I'll admit to it. I was misled like crazy when mm-hmm. I was younger. Yeah. You know, like I, I, was, I grew up with my mom. We came here when I was very young. I was three years of age. And like, I remember going out and like, my mom would go to Penny's, right? And she'll do the sales. And it doesn't matter if it fits or it's too big or too small. Niggas going to school with fucking bottoms up his ankles. <laughs> 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 you know, a t-shirt that had like spider web lines. <laughs> ah, you're going to them. <laughs> That's the whole thing. You're going oh, to them. Nice. Sorry, today she said. You get me? Too. So, so <laughs> when I was in the estates <laughs> and I seen the young players moving weight up, doing whatever, mm. and they're driving the best of cars, clothes, all that. It's all I wanted. Yeah. Mm. I want to be able to buy my own clothes. I want to be able to do. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like I was influenced. Into yeah. that mm. as a young kid. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm glad that I was able to walk out and have my head high and mm-hmm. change my whole life around and have my own kids now that I'm teaching now. Yeah. And walking hard from them. But the areas we're in, this is the shit that happens daily mm-hmm. and day out, man. Yeah. It mm-hmm. just it's just not, it's like it's a norm, but it's mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. It's not norm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's but that's problem, that's yeah. that's the problem. We need more people like you. We need more people like yourself. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? 100%. And I'm honestly, no, seriously, I'm yeah. delighted and fucking proud of you, man. I oh, really yeah. am. From what you came through and what you've done and to be able to be here and talk about it yeah. and hold your own and be able to be yourself, that's love. Yeah. Honestly, Thanks. thank you. Yeah, thank respect. you so much. We appreciate both of you. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank you. Thank you guys Thanks for, for having coming us. in. Thanks for having us. Yeah. I truly appreciate it, Thanks man. a million. But keep doing your thing, though. Yeah. Honestly.
I will have you back on. I will have you back, all right. We'll have the we'll have the second the second version of the comeback kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hopefully with an elite title the next time. Ah, huh? yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Olympics. Yeah. The Olympics. Yeah. The Olympics. Yeah. Next goal. Thank yeah. you guys. Um, Thanks a million. This is the end. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. Love. All the love, my guys. Guys, you're fucking awesome. Thanks a million. <laughs> 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 <laughs>